Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. In this video, we will be doing part E of activity 10.2. We are already done with A, B, C, D and if you want to watch them, go and see the previous videos. Okay, question number one, part E. Ms. Nisha. Logic circuit is given to you in the example and you have to make the truth table for that. Let me quickly tell you that what are the logic gates that are making up this logic circuit and what are their inputs and outputs. So the first one is your OR gate that is taking A and B as inputs. And let's suppose the output is P. Let's mark the intermediate output as P. The next is your NOR gate. NOR gate is taking B and C as input values and let's say the output is Q. Next if you see P, next to P is your inverter. The inverter will do nothing but it will make the value of P inverted. We can say it's P bar or in other words it can be written as not P. Next, we have a ZOR gate. The ZOR gate is taking not P and Q as an input values and it will give an output, let's suppose R. Next, you have another ZOR gate. This ZOR gate is taking the values of R and C as inputs and it is giving the output X. So let's do the working for it. Look at your truth table. In the truth table, you have three input values A, B, C. Since there are three input values, so you will be having eight combinations. Let me quickly write it for you. For C, it would be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. For B, it will be two zeros, two ones. Then two zeros, then two ones. For A, it will be four zeros, one, two, three, four, and four ones. Okay, next we have P, Q, R. P is basically an OR operation between A and B. So you can do it as A or B if you see your logic circuit. A or B will give you P. For Q, you have to do it B nor C. So write down B nor C. C. This is the value for Q. R is basically calculated as not P, ZOR, Q. It is taking not P as one input and will do ZOR with the value of R. Not R, sorry, the value of Q. Finally, the X. X is nothing but it's ZOR between R and C. So R, ZOR, C. Once you have written all the functions, now quickly start the working. A and B. Look at the column P. In column P, you have to calculate A or B. So we need to consider the values of A and B only. And you have to do addition between them. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, then 1 plus 1 is 1. Once we are done with the values of P, let's quickly move towards the values of Q. For Q, you have to consider B and C only. And the operation that you will be performing is the NOR operation. So we will add them and then we will reverse it. 0 plus 0 is 0. Let me write the binary addition here and then I will reverse. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 1. 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. So we will reverse all these bits. Q 
Q will be a NOR operation. So it is the first one is 0, make it 1. Miss nine. Next we have 1, make it 0, 0, 0. Then you have 1, then make it 0, 0, 0. This is how you have to reverse or invert the result of addition, binary addition. This is how the NOR gate works. It is the reverse of your OR gate. Once we are done with this Q, let's move towards R. For R, if you see that it is a ZOR between NOT P and Q. So first we will write down NOT P in front of P. So it will be easier for us to calculate. Let me just reverse all the bits of P to make it not P. For 0, it becomes 1 and for 1, it becomes 0. This is going to be not P. Not P will have a ZOR operation with the values of Q. ZOR means if it is similar, write down 0. If it is dissimilar, write down 1. 0, 0, similar, write down 0. 0, 0, similar, 0. 0, 1, dissimilar, write down 1. 0, 0, similar, write down 0. 0, 0. Okay, so this is done for R. Next, we have X. For X, you have to consider column R and column C. We have to do ZOR again. 0, 0. Similar values, write down 0. 1, 1. Similar, 0. 0, 0. Similar, 0. 1, 0. Dissimilar, 1. 0, 1. Write down 1. 1, 0. Write down 1. 0, 0. Write down 0. 1, 0. Write down 1. This is how you are going to do the ZOR operation between the values of R and C. For similar binary data, write down 0. For dissimilar binary set, write down 1. So this is how you have to do the working of uh, part E of activity 10.2. Stay tuned, stay connected for more activities. Bye-bye.